<laughs> Steam Steam Deck obsolete, huh? <laughs> AMD could make the Steam Deck obsolete. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello viewers. Another beautiful day. Yeah. Hope your fuss senses work. Health and strength is good. We're excellent. <laughs> Steam Deck obsolete, huh? Look. Val Valve tried to warn you people. We couldn't find a game the Steam Deck couldn't run. And competitors been coming out of the woodwork, huh? <laughs> But now you got MSN here talking about how could how oh how how AMD could make the Steam Deck obsolete. This article makes no sense, but I think they're talking about the Steam Deck too, though. That's what that's what all this leads up to. Listen to this. It says here uh, how AMD could make Valve Steam Deck obsolete. Valve Steam Deck may still be the poster child of handheld gaming PC, but its competition is already heating up. Since the launch of the Steam Deck, Valve competitors has hung surprisingly not gotten any less serious. Jack Hugh, uh, head of computing and graphics at AMD, confirmed the Ryzen Z2, the successor to Ryzen Z1, at an AMD and Microsoft conference during IFA 2024. Meanwhile, Digital Trend report last week that the company is working on the upcoming handheld gaming console chip. It says, while that may not mean a lot yet for the Virgin world of handheld gaming, PC, the impact could end up being huge. The Z2 is currently set to see an early 2025 launch date, but could eventually find its way to new Asus ROG Ally and Lenovo Legion Go handheld. Naturally, the Ryzen Z2 is expected to be faster than the Steam Deck, older APU a lot faster. Compare, to the, compare the Z2 to the Steam Deck current APU and well, let's say, let's just say things aren't looking great for Valve. Subtopic. The Steam Deck will be will be even more outdated soon. The Steam Deck might have been the first to make a splash in the market, but it has been behind in hardware when compared to what modern chips offer since its initial launch. It says um, the original Steam Deck launch in 2022 with a 7 nanometer uh, AMD graphics uh, base built upon the RDNA 2.0 architecture, which has been available since 2020. 2020. Even when Steam Deck launched its OLED model with the new Sephiroth uh, GPU, it still used RDNA 2.0. Then it says, uh, in comparison to the AMD Ryzen Z1 Extreme utilizing RDNA 3.0, which launched a few months prior to the Steam Deck OLED, the raw power of its chip is not even close. Sephiroth both a theoretical performance of 5.12 12 teraflops at uh, uh, frames per uh, FP16, uh, whereas the Ryzen Z1 Extreme is as high as 16.6 .6 teraflops. It says uh, Sephiroth has 512 shader units with 32 texture mapping units, 16 render output units, 8 compute units, and ray tracing cores. Its base clock speed is 1000 megahertz, uh, while it boasts a clock. No, while its boost clock is at 1600 megahertz, the Z1 Extreme, on the other hand, features 768 shader units, 48 texture mapping units, 32 render output units, 12 compute units, and 12 ray tracing cores, with a base clock speed of 1500 megahertz and a boost clock speed of 2700 megahertz. It's hard to get around the fact that the Steam Deck is plain and simple behind. <laughs> it says, as reported by Digital Trend, Hugh also mentioned that he wanted to be able to play Black Myth Wukong for three hours on the handheld rather than 45 minutes. That's possible on current hardware. While that isn't confirmation that the Ryzen Z2 Extreme will have significant improved battery life, it's clear that it's a priority for our company. To make matters even worse for the Steam Deck, according to Jess Corden from Windows Central, the Z2 will be based on AMD Strix Point. We've already tested a laptop with a Strix, Strix Point chip, the Asus ZenBook uh, S16 with an AMD Ryzen AI 9 HX370, and we saw it pull a power of 63 frames per second out of Civilization uh, 4, gather, uh, Gathering Storm at 1080p on medium uh, graphics. That compared to Lenovo Yoga 7i 2-in1, AMD Ryzen 7 8840HS, which is comparable which is comparable to the Ryzen Z1 Extreme, 
Then it says managing 48 frames per second on the same test. That's around 30% increase in performance. And it says here uh, <clears throat> to put to put it in to put it put put it plainly, Valve is doomed unless it it, it's re it says Valve is doomed unless it responds with a more powerful Steam Deck. The subtopic: How how Valve need to respond with Steam Deck too. In an interview with The Verge, Valve uh, coder Pierre Luke Griffey said, changing the performance level is not something we are taking lightly, and we only want to do so when there is significant enough increase to be had. That was a year ago, so it might be too soon for Valve to believe it has any reason push for a Steam Deck 2, though the launch of the latest Strixpoint AMD chip could be enough for of a reason for the company to invest. It says casting even more doubt, Griffith said we also don't want more performance to come at a significant cost to power efficiency and battery life. I don't anticipate such a leap to be possible in the next couple of years. It's entirely possible this implies that a Steam Deck 2 won't see a 2025 release either. After all, Valve Index launch in 2019 and hasn't seen a new iteration in the last five years. And then it says here, uh, it's it's clear that Valve isn't as gun ho about launching a new handheld whenever it's can, but considering what we know about AMD Ryzen Z2 thus far, it's time for Valve to match its competitors or be left in the dust. <laughs> All right, good article. Well. What's my take on this? <laughs> they say good things come to those who wait. And if you and if you've been going by the patterns, if you go back to the patterns of when the Steam Deck came out, and and when people were talking about battery life and the OLED and it didn't have an OLED screen, Valve was listening. So. If you if you thought that they broke the cycle by not listening, then you're in for a rude awakening. So, by the looks of what our peer loop peer loop is saying, Valve it looks like Valve is working on the Steam Deck too, but not saying anything. And the same the same way that they dropped the Steam Deck OLED when when they released the Steam Deck OLED without even telling nobody. Is the same way the Steam Deck 2 is going to show up. They're not saying anything. They're working on it. So to say that uh, how AMD could make the Steam Deck obsolete, the title makes no sense. <laughs> it really doesn't make any sense because AMD is working with has has been working with Valve. So AMD got their hands in in a whole lot of things from from AI to uh, <laughs> to I um, mean. To, to 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 the Zen 7, Zen 6, Zen 5, RDNA, what, 3, 4, yeah, uh, FSR, 4, they got their hands in so many things, so behind behind all that, the Steam Deck 2 is being worked on, so when that time come, Valve will, re will release it, but the Steam Deck is not, ups is not obsolete by any means right now, <laughs> you do got about, what, 16,000 and like 200 what 200 plus games to play plus updates coming in you guys are good but um yeah the z, <laughs> the z2 uh extreme uh chip comes out next year and we'll we'll we'll, we'll see what happened between now between now and 2025 anyway i'm gonna leave this video for y'all to enjoy though Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still Star Wars, Dark Side, Dark Side, Come on. Peace.